everyone, welcome back to my channel. Sorry for the lack of video last week. I came down with the worst cold ever, and I was basically in bed all weekend watching Tyra Show reruns on YouTube. But I'm back, and I'm very excited because this video is a collab with my girl Fira, and today we're talking about our favorite lipsticks for spring. Y'all know me, so I'm gonna be talking about drugstore and budget-friendly lipsticks for spring. And over on Fira's channel, she's gonna be talking more about mid to high-end range, as well as cruelty-free lipsticks for spring. So her link will be below and at the end of this video, so you can go check it out after you watch this one. So spring is such a beautiful season here in LA and it is my favorite time of year to bring out all of the bright bold colors in my lipstick collection. Starting to put away the oxbloods and berries as much as I love them and then bringing back out the bright pinks and oranges. So in this video I am going to show you some bright colors that will really be the statement of your look as well as a couple more neutral ones so you can work those into your everyday fresh face spring looks too. Alright let's get into it. So the first lipstick that I'm loving for spring, it's brand new and I just watched the entire collection on my blog, I'll leave that link below. This is the e.l.f. Day Tonight Lipstick Duo, specifically in the shade I Love Pinks, or the shades I Love Pinks. Basically, these are double-ended lipsticks, one on each side that are complementary colors, and their idea is you're gonna wear one during the day to the office and then switch up your look for nighttime with the more vibrant shade. So I think the I Love Pinks Duo is the best for spring because you are getting that more neutral shade that you can work into more subtle looks and then you get that big bright fuchsia pop for more dramatic statement lips. And I said this in my blog post but this has to be e.l.f.'s best lipstick formula to date. As you can see in the lip swatches they go on so pigmented you do not even need to layer these up to get full opaque color and they feel so moisturizing. I absolutely love them. I have compared them to the Bite Luminous Duo lipsticks. I would say they are very comparable in quality and pigmentation and of course they are half the price of the bite duos which are 12 these are only six you're getting two shades and while they are mini bullets you're still getting about as much as a normal lipstick just split up into two shades next on my list for spring ready drugstore lipsticks is the NYX intense butter gloss in the shade summer fruit so yeah, summer fruit, spring fruit, whatever, it is still a beautiful, vibrant coral that is just electric to look at and definitely a statement lip. The NYX Intense Butter Glosses do have that same cushy and balmy texture that the normal butter glosses have, but they are a lot more pigmented. They much more remind me of a liquid lipstick rather than a lip gloss. They do have a little bit more of a slick consistency than the butter glosses. They don't go on as thick, but I find that helpful because they're so pigmented, you don't want globs of it on your face. For those of you who want to rock the pinks but maybe don't want to go too bold, this is probably perfect for you. It is the Revlon Ultra HD Matte Lip Color in HD Devotion. It's a really pretty rose shade that would be great with either a heavier eye or if you wanted to keep it natural. Now when these came out, the biggest debate in the makeup community was, are they really matte? They take a really long time to dry down. To me, they were probably better off just labeling them a normal liquid lipstick and calling it a day. After a few hours it will dry down to matte, but so will mostly all liquid lipsticks. Regardless, you do get a very cushy and comfortable and moisturizing formula, so either way, you get something nice out of it. And I think this shade is really pretty for spring, it's very floral and light and girly. So Essence is a budget beauty brand that's becoming more and more accessible. You can find them online, in Ulta stores, and now at Target, and their liquid lipstick, I'm loving it. So this is the shade Show Off, which is a very red-toned coral. Now, I don't know if you can tell, but this packaging reminded me a lot of the Maybelline Color Elixirs, and I have to say that the formula is similar in that it feels very balmy, very cushy, almost gloss-like, but you are getting a lot of that pigmentation. And they're cheaper, so it's kind of a no-brainer. I'm loving the shade for spring. When I wear it, I do keep my eyes pretty neutral and just let it speak for itself. So I know orange isn't necessarily a color that a lot of people feel comfortable wearing on their lips, but I do think that Sleek Makeup did a good job with their Lip VIP lipstick in the shade Flaunt It to create a very wearable orange that can really be nice for spring. While it is very pigmented, which I like, it also has more of a matte finish. I don't think it is as bright and clowny as it is wearable, it has those warm undertones to it so that you can really work it into a look easily. Again, this is a shade that I would probably go neutral makeup for as far as my eyes, maybe a winged liner, some mascara, if I really wanted some crease color, um, but the rest would be up to this lipstick to really bring it home. So I've always been a very big fan of Burt's Bees and their skincare 
hair and their tinted lip balms, but they actually recently came out with full blown lipsticks, which I'm very excited about. This specifically is in the shade Scarlet Soaked, which is a very beautiful red that's perfect for spring. Now, of course, red is completely a year round color, it is so classic, but the reason why I think Scarlet Soaked is really good for spring is it does have that sheerness to it, so it's bright and light, and it's very easy to work into a bunch of different looks. It's just like all Burt's Bees products, it is very moisturizing, so you are getting a little bit of that lip care as well as you are color. And because it is a little bit sheer, it's nice to just kind of throw on and go. You don't have to worry about lining your lips. Um, it's very low maintenance. And last but not least, it's the color I'm wearing right now, ColourPop's Ultra Matte Lip in Donut. This is one of the original shades that came out with the actual Ultra Matte Lip launch, and it's been my favorite ever since. It's a bright blush pink that I also think is very wearable just because of the balance of undertones in it. It does have a neutral feel to it regardless of being a bright pink, so I think it works with a lot of different skin tones. As the name suggests, these are ultra matte, so I definitely suggest you putting a balm underneath. And also a little trick, do not rub your lips together during application. Just let them dry with your lips a little bit apart and you'll get that full coverage matte look that you love. So those are my seven current favorite drugstore and budget friendly lipsticks for spring. I hope you found one that you liked. If there's one that you love that I didn't talk about, leave it in the comments below. And don't forget to head over to Fira's video where she talks about more mid to high end and cruelty free lipsticks for spring. And also I just want to acknowledge that while I was sick last weekend, I did hit 6,000 subscribers, which means the world to me. Even though in the grand scheme of things, I'm sure you watch much bigger YouTubers than me, but each and every one of you just puts a smile on my face every single day and makes it so worth it to use my weekends for talking about makeup on camera and on my blog. So thank you, and I hope to reward you with even more great giveaways as my channel grows. So thank you again for watching, subscribing, liking, and commenting, and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye. Mwah!